At the Delphi, we take academic honesty very seriously, and we want to make sure you understand both the official university policy as well as our expectations of you in the educational technology program. You can find the university's code of academic honesty in your course syllabus, on the Delphi website, or linked in the description for this video. Please be sure to familiarize yourself with the entire code, as this video will only cover key parts of it. This video will go through some of the definitions of academic dishonesty, with some examples included. Plagiarism is when you take work done by others and present it as your own. Plagiarism is not limited to submitting someone else's work in its entirety. It's also not limited to written work. Copying from a classmate an academic article without citations, a website, a blog, a video, or anything else you can find on the internet are all considered plagiarism. Here are a few examples. After each example is presented, take a few seconds to consider whether these represent instances of plagiarism. Example 1. Ron has taken a whole paragraph from a blog and submitted it as part of a reflection. Is this plagiarism? Yes, it's plagiarism because he didn't write the paragraph. Example 2. Fred has taken a few sentences from one article and a few more from a website. He didn't cite any of them. Is this plagiarism? Yes, again, it's plagiarism because Fred didn't cite these and pass them off as his own work. Example number three. George did what Fred did, but he changed a few words here and there. He also didn't cite these sources. Is this plagiarism? Yes, it's still plagiarism. George didn't write these sentences, and plagiarism is not limited to copying anything word for word. Example 4. Charlie has to make a video. He copies a script from another video and re-records it with his own voice. Is this plagiarism? Yes, because Charlie stole the idea and the words from someone else. Example 5. Ginny has to make a video. She uses royalty-free and open-source video clips and images for most of the video. She also includes a few seconds from existing movies. Is this plagiarism? No. Ginny is fine because she used royalty-free and open-source content, and she's allowed to use short excerpts from existing media, provided that it's no more than 10% of the original video. And because Ginny was using these different sources to create her own ideas and express herself, this is not plagiarism. Fabricating data or citations means making up data that you did not collect or citations you did not use or read in your work. In our program, we want to make sure you make the effort to do your own work and to understand the process of data collection and academic writing. Here are some hypothetical examples. Example one. Victor wants to survey 30 students for his research, but only managed 20. He fakes the rest, making it close to the data he already has. Is that acceptable? No, faking data is unethical, even if it's not meant for publication. If you're truly having trouble collecting data, talk to your professor and ask for support. Example 2. Peter needs to write a paper that has at least 10 references. He only has three, so he randomly selects the others to include in his paper. Is this acceptable? No. Looking through existing research and building on them is part of academic work and ethical practice. Remember, there are strategies to read articles quickly to identify ones you need to read more closely. Your professor will discuss how to do this with you. Collaborating in areas not approved by the professor. Unless your professor has assigned you to work with another classmate, you may not collaborate with a peer. Although we encourage you to support each other outside of class, we want to know that the work you turn in is your own and not copied from someone else. An authorized multiple submission of one's work means that you submit your own work for multiple assignments regardless of whether it is for the same course. Unless you have specific permission from the instructors, you are not allowed to reuse assignments for different courses. Here are ways that you can protect yourself from intentionally or unintentionally violating the Academic Honesty Code. Cite your sources. Anytime you're using ideas or words from another person, you should acknowledge them. Depending on the media, this may mean citing them in your paper or acknowledging them in your credits. Consult your professor. 
If you're unsure whether something you're using would be considered plagiarism, talk to the professor of the course. It is your responsibility to do that before you turn in the assignment. Pretending you are ignorant of the violation will not be accepted as an excuse. Telling the professor that another professor had a different policy or told you differently is also not an excuse. In conclusion, we hope this video helps you understand the code of academic honesty here at Adelphi University and within the Educational Technology Program. If you have any questions, please talk to your advisor or one of the professors.